Welcome to Adventures in Engineering. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use the super secret thread milling cam feature in FreeCAD. Originally, I couldn't find this in the FreeCAD documentation, and I created a video on how to do thread milling with a helix feature. This had limitations, and I needed to create external threads, which the helix would not allow me to do. I started searching the forums for info on how to write my own Python script for this and came across a thread about an existing feature for thread milling. I want to warn you that developers don't seem to want people to use this feature easily. You should use it at your own risk of dismemberment, possibly death, or maybe even worse. I've found it to work, but the simulator freezes up when, it, when you do try to render it. This is a screenshot of the forum thread and the instructions for enabling the super secret features. The URLs are shown in the top. Here is the FreeCAD menu before and after enabling the features. As you can see, slot, 3D surface, waterline, thread milling, and area are features that are added to the menu. I'm only going to cover the thread milling feature here. Feel free to experiment with the others at the risk of having your face melted off, and let me know how that goes for you. I did a quick test of the FreeCAD thread milling feature using a single slot thread milling bit. It has a diameter of 4.9 millimeters, so 6 millimeter thread is the smallest that it can do. I decided to try my luck all the way up to 12 millimeter thread, so I did an M6 by 1 with a bore of 5 millimeter and M8 by 1.25 where the bore is 6.8 millimeter. I uh, did or M10 by 1 which uh, has a bore of 9 millimeter and M12 by 1.5 where the bore is 10.5 millimeters. Okay, I'm setting my, my XYZ home point right here, and then I'm going to go over and do my Z probe uh, zeroing. <laughs>
So now it's test time. So this is M6 1.0. Smooth as butter, goes right on through. Okay. Now we move on to M8 1.25. Right on through. A little bit of, a little bit of residual uh, stuff in the threads, but came right on through. Now, I don't have a bolt, so I have a uh, thread-making tool for the 10 millimeter, but it's going right on through without any issues here. And it's not cutting any material out while it's doing it. It's just uh, spinning pretty smoothly through the threads. Eh, maybe a little bit of a uh, little bit of thread clean out, but nothing nothing major. <laughs> and then we go to the M12 1.5. A little bit tighter, but it's going right on in. And it went through. Look at that. So with one tool, I am able to cut threads from M6 to M12, which I think is pretty cool. If I want to do smaller pitch, I can get a slightly smaller tool. I don't think I'll need to do bigger pitch than that, but that is it. That tool right there cut all of those threads. I am very happy with this thread milling feature in FreeCAD. It meant I didn't have to write my own Python scripts to do this. It's already in the program, ready to go. You just have to enable it by uh, going into some settings and, and doing that, which I've showed you in this video. Um, internal threads weren't great. I even created external threads with it, which um, was really what I was originally trying to do and, uh, and what made me stumble upon the feature that was already there. So, thanks to uh, the FreeCAD developers for making this feature. And, uh, hey, donate to them if you can. Um, they do a great job. It's, uh, it's a program that allows people like me to make all kinds of cool stuff and uh, not have to worry about it being in the cloud or uh, having to pay for an expensive product. Uh, and FreeCAD seems to have all the features so far that I have wanted. So, anyway, thanks for listening and thanks for watching. Hope this helps you out, and let me know how, the, how those other features work.